the birds are singing and that's nice. I wanted to give you a quick tour of the garden. We've just finished it. Timing's pretty good because we're at home all the time. So I've been out here for the last week really getting things in order. Totally teaching myself. Um, we had to fence it in because of the deer and the rabbits. And today we put some things in the ground. In the ground, they've they've been um, coming on in the greenhouse. We've sown some seeds. I think I'm doing it right. I'm I'm reading some books. Um, it's a bit of an adventure, and it's very exciting. And it feels good at this at this particular time when everything is so wrong. Um, so yeah, raised beds, chives, delicious chives, and when they flower, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, everything looks a bit empty, but uh, it won't in a few weeks and months. Um, radish and, and carrots and ruby chard, uh, some sweet peas, all this driftwood that Alice finds on the beach. It's pretty beautiful. Um, one of my favourite beans, the broad bean, they went in this morning. Uh, they look pretty healthy and there's a climber here that they can they can climb up. And some French beans um, for our salads, amazing with tarragon, French beans and tarragon. Um, compost bins, although there's, they seem to be sort of designed for a hotel. I'm not sure if I'm going to produce that much compost. Um, you never know. Um, over here we've got a sort of veg patch down at ground level with some potatoes, some new potatoes that have just gone in. Um, that's all looking pretty professional, although, you know, I don't know if it's right. I assume it is. Uh, this little patch is for my courgettes and, and pumpkins and squash. There's a few more little French beans down there because I had some extras. And then, yeah, everything's been coming on in the greenhouse, which is lovely and gorgeous and warm in the day. And, you know, more seeds coming on in here. Uh, purple sprouting, tomatoes, dill, um, oh, Mark Diakonou's book, some stuff down here, oh, um, sweet corn, cucumbers, cut and come again salad, and watercress that we just took out a salad bag, put in some water, the roots came through, and then I popped it in the ground. We've already had a harvest off of that. So yeah, it's really exciting and um, a bit daunting, but really lovely. And it's making me feel good.